Hi, we're here with Bill Fredericks from NASA Langley, and behind us is a prototype called the GL-10, the Grease Lightning. Bill, what exactly is it that we have behind us here? What we're trying to show with the government-funded research is to open up new markets. Specifically, you can have vertical takeoff and landing with cruise efficiency at the same time, which would be revolutionary for the aviation market in our country here. So if we can demonstrate that we vertically take off and land and then transition into very efficient wingborne flight, that would enable markets like small package delivery, surveillance, or at even some point, personal air vehicles. Bill, the uh, GL-10 has all electric motors on it, is that correct? That's correct. Uh, the prototype you see right here flying is all battery-powered electric motors. In the future, a larger version of this would be a series electric hybrid, where it would have small diesel engines, one of them is actually sitting on the table next to us here, that would generate electricity, and then in parallel would also be batteries, so the diesel engine is sized only large enough to be the power required in wingborne flight, and then it's supplemented with battery power in hover, and that actually works out to a lighter weight propulsion system. Now the DC motor, electric motor uh, technology you'd use in this thing is pretty critical. Uh, can you tell us a little bit about that and how you might scale that up for a bigger version of this? Well, what's really neat about electric motors, which is not true of combustion motors, whether they're turbines or reciprocating engines, they're scale-free. So if I had a one horsepower, a 10 horsepower, 100 horsepower, 1,000 horsepower electric motor, they're all about the same efficiency and all about the same power to weight ratio, which is not true of combustion propulsion systems. Um, how big are the electric motors on the prototype behind us? This prototype here, each motor is at one and a half horsepower. Are they um, brushless? Can you tell us a little bit about the technology? Yeah, these. so the prototype here you see behind you, all of the components of it are off-the-shelf stock COTS components. The, the new research is the configuration. So in the future, we could potentially design another vehicle with better optimized subcomponents. The motors are from Scorpion. The motor controllers are from Castle. We've got off-the-shelf actuators from Fregelli. Uh, the props are uh, Aeronaut carbon cam props. What about the, uh, the batteries? The batteries are Thunder Power. What's the uh, chemistry? LiPos, it's standard LiPos you can buy off the internet. What's the next step for this thing? The next step, uh, we got three next steps. Right now, we have to hand fly this vehicle. Uh, in the future, we want to use some of the autonomous technologies we're developing at NASA Langley, so it can fly in an automated way. We also want to incorporate the hybrid propulsion system to get much longer endurance. Uh, those would be the next steps, and then eventually hope to find industry partners to actually put technologies like this into production for our U.S. aviation industry. Bill, that sounds pretty exciting. Um, I, you're lucky. You're a lucky guy to be a, a part of this to uh, have fun with all this new technology. Oh, thank you. I've always wished for an opportunity like this, and now I've realized I have to be a little more careful what I wish for. It's been a. This project's been quite a ride. Thanks. Thanks. Have a good day.